Cowgirl Creamery is an artisan cheese maker. And in Petaluma, we make the Mount Tam, the wagon wheel, Fromage Blanc, the Creme Fraiche. In Point Reyes, we make the Red Hawk and the cottage cheese. Terroir is an integral part of artisan cheese. Ter what? Terroir. 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 So terroir is really mostly used with wine production to describe the unique aspect of a wine from a certain region. And more and more, this is terms being used to describe the regionality and the uniqueness of the cheese that are com that's coming from a specific region or area, even county, within a certain state. Red Hawk is a great example of terroir. We can only make that cheese in Point Reyes. We can't make that cheese in Petaluma, which is just 30 miles away. Uh, it needs to be in that environment along the coast where that bee linens grows. Bee linens is a, a beautiful red bacteria that makes stinky cheese stinky. Terroir is really the combination of soil and climate and topography. And when it comes to artisan cheese, what that translates to is what are the animals eating and what environment are they living in? Like we have in Northern California where they have these grasses and this amazing weather and everything. Then that translates to the milk, which is, has to translate to the cheese. They have While making the triple cream Red Hawk cheese, Maureen Cunney can see the influence of terroir firsthand. This is a beautiful color. The, the cheese is a little bit opaque, and so that makes me think that it's a little bit higher fat today. The whey is more of a yellow color today also. When the cows are out to pasture, you see a vibrant a vibrant green yellow that comes out immediately. The most fun part about making cheese is coming in and um, seeing what's available to make the best cheese possible. That's why people love making cheese because it is challenging every day. It's not the same every day. It's milk is made by a living being. <laughs>